Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of two movies. We have Ghosts of War and then we have Made in Italy. So first off, we're going to talk about Ghost of War. This is a film about World War II. It's a platoon or group of five men uh, who are on assignment in Europe during the war. I think it's France uh, that they're the locale. I'm not sure. But they have been ordered to, to head to this m mansion, uh, French mansion, uh, a state where they will headquarters up until <clears throat> their relief can come in. And it's just a centralized location for information, uh, which is why they're there. So they're making this, you know, they make the trek uh, over the countryside to get to this locale. And when they get there, there's are another group of about five people. And strangely, they're, they're not utilizing the bedrooms in the house, but they're sleeping on the main floor right inside the front door. And when the new group gets there, the old group is very, very anxious to leave. They want to get out of there as quickly as they can. And, you know, the new troops say, you know, what's your rush? You know, there's no rush, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we've got, we've got to go. We've got to go. And they move out quickly, quickly, quickly. And you think, hmm, there's something strange going on about this house or whatever. And then as they, this group, new group begins to settle in, then you get some indication of, of what, has been going on, but it's not real clear, and you get you get these you know scattered images that you that you really have to work to piece together. Now the actors in this cast, the main actor is Brendan Thwaites. Uh, I, I had seen him in some things. He was in uh, the sequel to the Maleficent with Angelina Jolie. The, he played, played Prince Philip. I think that was one of his big roles that you know got him some attention. But he's been in other movies, nothing that really you know was outstanding to me. But he's in it. Theo Rossi uh, is one of the guys in the in the group that is there, and also Skylar Aston. And I've seen Skylar Aston on a lot of TV shows in in various roles, uh, everything from musicals to dramas to comedies, etc. And I, th I think he was one of the male leads uh, in the Pitch Perfect movies. So if you recognize him, that's probably where you recognize him for. You know, but none of the actors are, are really outstanding to me. And, you know, they, they do their roles. But the script of this film is so loose and so unraveled that it just doesn't hold together. And you're sitting there thinking, you know, come on, I'm, I'm trying to make some sense out of this. And it, when I watched it, I even went back and, and watched from a certain point to the end, trying to make some sense out of it. And it never does. Uh, you know, uh, right toward the end, Billy Zane, who was in Titanic and lots of other movies, he makes an appearance. So you get him, I guess, for name value that he drops in. But it has a twist of an ending. I don't think that's giving a spoiler to say it's got a twist of an ending that, for me, just fell flat. It just, uh, I didn't care for it. You know, I, I guess in some people's minds, that they'd say, oh, that was really clever the way they did it. Didn't do it for me at all. But the film is rated R for profanity and violence. Some of it is a little bit overly gory, and it certainly earns its rating. But I gave it a score of three out of ten. I, I just I didn't didn't have a good time. You know, it's, I can I can let my imagination soar to try to you know take in all aspects of of the things that are happening. But, you know, if you don't give me some core, you know, belief to have in the center of the film, then you just throw different angles of, uh, of a plot at me, then it's not going to stick. You know, uh, it's, I, I can see where, again, somebody could say, well, it was inventive and, you know, the twists that it took. The acting across the board is okay. Uh, I wasn't that familiar with all the actors except for Skylar Aston. 
I didn't know Brendan Thwaites that, that well, but you know, they're there. So I'll give them credit for, for doing a good job. But again, that's as far as I could make it. So three out of 10 is as far as I could go. The Ghost of War, rated R, gets a three out of 10 for me. But on a brighter note, there is a movie out called Made in Italy. And it concerns a young man played by Michael Richardson, who uh, at the start of the film is getting a divorce from his wife. He has been running her family's art gallery and in London, I think it is, and the divorce is coming to a head and she tells him, hey, you're gonna be without a job because once the divorce goes final, uh, I'm not gonna need you here. And he says, well, how about letting me buy the gallery from you? And she said, you can't afford it. You don't have any money. You know, you don't make enough money here. And he says, well, my family owned a house in, in Italy, in, in, in the, excuse me, in the Tuscany area. And he said, I can talk my father into selling that house and my half of the sale of that house will be enough for me to buy you out of the gallery. So she says, I'll give you a month. So off he goes uh, to the Tuscany area and where his father is, who is played by Liam Neeson. And you know, they, the two, the father and son have been a little bit estranged. They haven't maintained a close relationship. The mother is dead. She, uh, she died in a car accident. You, you find that out early on. But the son is, you know, his, you know, tells his father, he says, you, you know, we've got to fix this place up because it's been, he's just, the father's just kind of let it get run down. And he said, we've got to fix this place up. We're going to have to do the work ourselves because we don't have, you know, the money to hire somebody to come in and do it. So we've got to work together. And so they forge a relationship as, you know, as they're fixing up this house, which they're going to sell so that he can go back home with his share and buy the gallery. So, you know, the basic core is this house, which is just in the most beautiful locale and the scenery is fantastic. And, you know, that whole area is just beautiful. And, and then the relationship that evolves between the father and the son is the, you know, the plot of the movie. What makes it unique though, is that Liam Neeson, the actor, is the father of Michael Richardson, who plays his son. And Liam Neeson was married to Natasha Richardson, and I think they had two sons, but she was killed in a, a, a fall, you know, she was skiing and had a fall and then later complications and she died. And Michael started out his career being known as Michael Neeson, but he has decided to honor his mother, Natasha Richardson, and has taken her name uh, as, you know, his stage name. And you've got the relationship between him and his father uh, with the death of, in real life, Michael's mother and Liam's wife having died. So you've got all that background that comes, that enhances you know, the spirit of the conversations, the actions that these two people have in this film made in Italy. So uh, Michael Richardson looks a lot like his mother to me. He, he doesn't resemble Liam Neeson that much, but he's a good actor. Uh, the, the scenes with the, you know, the, the father and son are really impressive and, you know, give a, a rich heart to the, to the film. The film itself is rated R for profanity. Like I said, the scenery is just beautiful. The uh, cast includes Liam Neeson, Michael Richardson, Lindsay Duncan, who's the real estate agent trying to sell the house, and Valeria Villego, who is owns a restaurant in town and provides a possible romantic interest for Michael Richardson's character. So. I enjoyed it, you know, everything about that. You know, I think that knowing the, the background of the two actors made it more impressive to me than it would be just to the unknown observer, but it, it added to it for me. So I scored the movie six out of 10. Uh, it's above average, it's 
right up there on the borderline with seven. I think that you will enjoy it. You'll enjoy the scenery. You'll enjoy the acting. I think you'll have just a, a good time with it. And now you know the backstory behind it that I knew. So six out of ten for me for Made in Italy, rated R. You know, reach down there, hit the subscriber button. We want you to be with us for all of these movies that we're bringing your way, the reviews of these movies, and we want you on board. But for today, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of Ghosts of War and Made in Italy.